Hi guys and welcome back to the Black Sea Empire campaign where today we are continuing to expand our influence over the Black Sea. Last time we absolutely ruffle stomped the Bosporans. We did lose an army which wasn't so good in the sea. Um, but yeah, we are in a very good situation now. We have a couple of horse archers ready to still go. We've got this army which is going to be insane to get moving as well and the other army to come back across at some point so let's get on with it this is going to be really fun guys oh and finally we got a guy come of age that is amazing we definitely need this guy although he's pretty good at management that's slightly annoying i'm not gonna lie um but yeah it should be okay let's get you guys on the boats there i'm gonna bring you up and then we're gonna organize our armies somewhat well now as you can see guys we've got so many troops we're not making much money at all but we do definitely need some garrison troops so we are going to pop a couple of things in there we're also going to do the same thing over here get a load of garrison troops because we have been severely lacking that recently well finally it has come to this guys we have been attacked by the adrician kingdom over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this guy out see whether there are any mercenaries available there are actually quite a lot they're very expensive though and we don't have too much money but if we do that we're going to come up to here and i'm hoping this should be enough to defend against them it's it's not hugely likely but um they've got a lot of cavalry in there guys and our phalangites can do so much damage to them so we'll see what happens with that if it becomes an issue we may have to divert this army down off the boats but um up to that point i guess we'll uh, we'll see now we can put our new full horse archer army to work here guys there's a single unit in here of great peltas so i don't think this is going to be too difficult i probably won't even show it but um it is nice to get this army out on the field well, fair play to the Greek Peltas. They actually managed to get quite a few Javis off on our Thurio Foroi. So, um, we did actually lose quite a few men, which is surprising. Um, but what can you do, guys? <laughs> it's a siege battle anyway, and mainly the horse archers were fine. So, that's okay. <laughs> well, I think after last time with Karkine, let's just enslave this time. Uh, they were a little bit upset last time, of course. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's also get out of here. This is the problem, of course, with uh, not having any garrison troops nearby. So we're going to have to try and get garrison troops there as quick as possible. So we're going to do that with Olbia. I know it's a little bit risky, but what we'll do is we'll swap these guys around instead. Because this one shouldn't be at risk from there. But um, I guess we'll see. Uh, and then we basically just need to come down the coast here. Does this one count as a coastal region? I guess it does. And that one definitely has a lot more troops in it. So, But they should be easier to manage horse archers inside a settlement like this than a Greek-style settlement. So, yeah, that should be okay. And then over here, what we're going to do is we're going to combine this army with a couple more units. Uh, and then set off down the coast here, taking Torikos and then coming down this way. The other army is still on the boats. I'm hoping we can beat back the Adrissians here. If not, it's going to be a little bit awkward, but oh well. Oh well. <laughs> and the Adrissians did attack, guys. So that is okay. Did they attack? They attacked my army that is outside. Oh, well, they only have two Ronfire Fori. The rest of it is literally just cavalry. So we might as well try and fight this. Let's... Let's have a go, guys. I mean, we're going to be so outgunned on cavalry, it's not going to be even funny, but I think hug boxing might be in order. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So we're going to set up on the right-hand side because I believe our troops should be coming in from the right. And uh, let's see. Yep, it's literally right there. You guys need to run. Please run. Please run. Just all of you run here, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Well, now that we have managed to somehow escape their grasp, let us set our troops up properly. Okay, maybe not. Nope, nope, nope. They're just they're just coming. They're just coming like that. That's fine. I'm just going to keep on these troops and make sure they don't get a killed by the Hippocontistai when they get charged. Oh, 
this is not good. Okay, that phalangite is going to be dead, I think. <laughs> well, if they're going for the charge, then we will attack them, of course. Like, I'm I'm fine killing this hippocontista during the charge. As long as we can get most of our troops out of there. Don't have an issue with that at all. And there we go. They literally broke instantly. Well then, guys, we've taken up a very defensive position. We're not in the corner, so it's not exactly hug boxing, but it is stopping them from getting around the back of us, which, um, you know, uh, it is cheesy. It is very cheesy. I do admit that, but it's probably the only way we can win this. So, okay, attack those guys, please. <laughs> There we go. And then we might even charge them as well. They're, they're wavering already. So, uh, yeah. I'm just worried about this infantry when it does get here. There's just so much cavalry. Once the cavalry's done, we can actually get into a proper line. But, um, yeah, there's so many missile cav... Luckily, like, a lot of these guys have a decent defense skill and defense armor and all that sort of thing. Uh, apart from maybe these boys. So, yeah, that's the main thing is making sure that our armor rating is decent enough. Um, the Rom Fire 4 are coming now, though, which is never good. They're never fun to fight, but there is only two units of them. That's that's the main thing. Well, here come the Light Lancers, guys. Let's kill them. I don't know what they're doing. Are they trying to fight my guy here? Looks like they are. But uh, we should be able to beat them back. They, so they can still get around the back. It's just whether they will or not is the question. This poor uh, phalangites are getting targeted, obviously, because they are the best uh, phalangites. So, luckily, we're close to the edge of the map as well. That really does help, like because we can get these cavalry units uh, off the map ASAP, rather than coming back and coming back and coming back. If they do charge these light lancers, we will re we will charge them as well. And that's what we like to see, guys: light lancers charging into phalangites. That is dumb. Dumb from them, but uh, <laughs> very good from our perspective. Ah, these Rom 5 4 throwing their javis is really not the one. And we've got loads of Thracian Peltas out here. Let's see if we can uh, push back these uh, these Light Lancers here as well. Well, how do I feel like uh, <laughs> the Romans did at the Battle of Garai? <laughs> well, here come the Rom 5 4 guys. And look at them. They're trying to flank us, which is very, very annoying. I'm not going to lie. Very annoying, Romfire 4, right? Just attack us, please. Because <laughs> if you do flank us, then genuinely there is nothing we can do. Okay, well, all the Romfire 4, Roy are now in the action. Uh, like, what do we do now? Like, we can't catch any of these Hippocontistae. We can't catch the Peltas. We can't catch the Slingers. Do we just, like, wait and hope that they run out of ammo and see if we have enough troops at the end to beat them? I really don't know. Well, I think what we've got to do in the meantime while we wait for us to uh, to not die, hopefully, is we've got to charge the Rumfire Foroy here and just get rid of them because, like I say, they're an insanely good unit. If you've seen the, um, the other campaign, guys, you know how good these units are, but we have just died completely on that charge. So that was maybe not the best of ideas. Come on, boys. Go, go, go. Get away. Well, the Hippocontisti are just cutting us down here, and we don't have any troops apart from maybe this one to spare to fight them. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's no way we win this, is there? <laughs> there's literally no way. There's no way we can win this. Well, we're going to have to put the Phalangites into this fight over here against the Rumfire 4 Roy, guys. The only way we can actually make any difference. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're just absolutely shredding us. But luckily now, there are some other units coming in, like the Peltas. So, maybe it's not going to be as bad as, as we first thought. But, yeah, no, it's not going to be good. <laughs> Well, luckily, we saw off some of the Thracian Peltas, but you can just see how good this Romfire 4 is. They are destroying our Cretan Hoplites, which are two of the best Hoplite units in the game because of that armor-piercing value, guys. Like, they are insanely, insanely good. Um, so, yeah, do we just... I mean, I think we're kind of stuck now. We have to fight it out to the death. So, yeah, let's, let's go down in a blaze of glory, my friends. <laughs> And there goes the general. There goes everyone. There goes everyone. Everyone just routed all at the same time. Yeah, not the best battle. I mean, there was re really nothing we could have done there, like, with the troops we had. So, yeah, the uh, the Thracian Battle of Karai uh, is concluded. <laughs> and there we go, guys. We inflicted 350 casualties, but that is not very much. Um, hopefully, we have enough to garrison the city, but it did stop them sieging down the city. So, that is the main thing.
And they didn't re da- re uh, re siege the city, so that's one bonus, I guess. <laughs> well, I think the Adrissians definitely deserve our ire, guys, because they betrayed us. They were our allies, so um, they want to play a run game, a running away from uh, actually fighting and just using missiles. We're gonna bring some horse archers, aren't we? So. I hope you enjoy getting Adrissia absolutely sacked, my friends, because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> when will the AI ever learn? I guess never, to be fair. <laughs> and now the Adrissian kingdom is allied to the Gete, so... Guess we're getting attacked by the Gete as well, guys. <laughs> well, on to the next settlement, guys, led by our glorious army commanded by Ira Sipos over here, one of our new commanders. This should be relatively interesting because of the amount of cavalry and sort of archers they have. I'm glad we did bring some Thurio Foray and stuff with us in this army. Otherwise, it would be a little bit of a nightmare to move around inside the city, but it shouldn't be too bad, should it? Let's see. Brave, yes! And don't you just love to see them all gathered by the gates, guys? <laughs> that is fantastic. Horse archers, that is just horse archer fodder right there. We're going to take some friendly fire. It just happens when you have horse archers, guys, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, look at that. All that fodder for us to nibble on. Mm, spicy little nibble. Oh, my days. Look at the amount of missiles that are going into them. This is, this is fantastic. They did manage to get some shots off on us with their archers, so that's great. But look, <laughs> yes, that's what we like to see. Get away from the gates. Get away from the gates. <laughs> well, the plan now, guys, is to try and push back some of this step cavalry. And then what we'll try and do is uh, get some of these uh, infantry in here. Basically, just block off this little uh, bit here. And then just bring our horse archers in behind to fire at them. I mean... What else do you need to do? <laughs> well, here we go. Here comes all the step cavalry. So we are just going to like chill out for a second. I don't want them to uh, to get us. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna just chill out for a little bit. They're gonna get a bit shredded by their javelins because remember they do have a decent amount of javelins. Uh, the step cavalry. And then what we can do is try and bring our horse archers in here. I'm gonna have to choose not very many of them though well here go all the step cavalry my friends there we go we might have to try and get more infantry because honestly like these guys for example breaking that's just shocking from all of the javelins um but there's nothing we can really do about them firing the javelins apart from getting our own horse archers in here who are taking some damage now from the javelins themselves so it's not going as well as i would have hoped but hopefully these guys can now start absolutely hammering them but we'll see I mean, look at this, guys. It's just ridiculous. We've not even used half of the horse art. Just try and reduce some of the friendly fire. But guys, turn. What are you doing? You just stood there. I set them up. I told them to come here. They just decided to stand there, I guess. Well, that's fine, but um, it's not amazing. And now, I mean, it's just methodically moving upwards, guys, isn't it? It's just methodically moving up along the settlement and just bringing more and more of their troops into chargers. I mean... It's the only thing we can really do at this point. And now we can fire all the way up to the town square, guys. So, um, that's going to be very useful. <laughs> Tell you what, though, guys. The step cavalry is relatively good against horse archers. I don't know what it is. Let me just have a look at them. Yeah, they have six armor and four shield. Whereas one of our guys' attack is missile attack eight. So, it is taking a couple of uh, shots per horse archer here. That will obviously go down the more experience these guys get. But... It's not ideal, honestly, and we definitely need more infantry, I think, because all of these regions are going to be siege battles. It's not going to be field battles. These guys are amazing in field battles, obviously, but not so good in siege battles like this. Like, uh, So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. So maybe we just need some more infantry. I think we're okay for now, but we can try and do what we uh, what we can going forward. Maybe there's some mercenary ones, but I, I doubt it. And all that's left is the lonely general. I mean, it still is a very effective tactic, even in, even in these cities, guys. But like I say, horse archer armies so much better against field armies. So maybe we should have swapped around the army that was getting retrained to go north and this one to go against the Adrissians. But we didn't know the Adrissians were going to attack us at the time, did we? So 
Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we've still got all of these guys who are completely untouched. And it's going to be general versus general now, boys. Just the final, the final fight in the town square. My general versus yours, Ariantis. And just look at these guys. When these guys get remastered, they're going to look so good, aren't they? Fantastic. Well, there we go. We lost 260 men, guys. Not amazing, but uh, we did do a lot more damage, of course. And like I say, Horse Archer's not really in for inside cities, but there's not that much we can re really do about that with this army composition. And like I say, we maybe messed up the way round they should be going, but it's okay. It's another settlement in our hands, isn't it? And of course, we're going to enslave. Otherwise, this place will never be happy. Uh, can we rebuild that wall there yet? No, we can't. I've spent all the money. Ah, well. And I think the, the thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get one of these units to just refill a load of them. Not all of them, because, yeah, it's going to run out. And hope that 25 men is enough to keep this place happy. Uh, I mean, we could get a mercenary next turn. Honestly, though, I'm not too bothered. We do have um, these troops on the way. They just move so slowly, as well as these boys um, who are stuck by a settlement. So... <laughs> Great. Maybe we just do the same again. Let's like uh, go like this, this, and this, and see if 40 men is going to be enough. Yeah, that's that should be enough after the unrest dies down next turn. So let's go for Kremoy over here. And this one is an open settlement. So this one should be a lot easier, guys. So let's get straight into and it. And luckily for the infantry, they are going to get a nice rest in this battle, my friends. <laughs> we are just going to use our horse archers because it's an open city so that should be fine well here we go straight into it my friends straight into it looks like the step cavalry is coming to party so hopefully we can get rid of them asap before they manage to get close enough to fire some javelins there we go that's very nice oh dear oh dear, 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 dear. go 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 guys go 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 good job i put these guys on um um on f uh, skirmish mode um you boys again we're just going to come backwards Micro, my micro is a little bit slow today, honestly, but um, we should still be okay. We've lost a few men to, due to um, friendly fire here. These guys actually have silver attack, so they've got 11 attack, which is very good for them. And now we're in pursuit of the step cavalry, my friends. Uh, we have destroyed all the infantry units that were out here. We are coming inside the city with these boys, so that is slightly scary because, of course... They do still have their general, who can be very good, and of course it's bigger stickers. What a boy. Um, <laughs> as all the rebel generals are, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. It's going to be... We might lose a few men if the general decides to charge, but uh, this is going to be interesting. And now we're inside the city and we're able to fire on a few of these boys. I would rather you fire on the general if you can, guys. But uh, looks like we're just chilling for the moment. So we'll bring these guys slightly forward. We may have to retreat... So let's just do that preemptively. But no, the general is just chilling. So that's okay. We'll continue to fire. Well, here comes the general. He is basically down to nothing. We're also going to charge in here with these boys. Uh, okay, maybe we're not going to charge. We'll just uh, we'll halt because uh, the general's coming back. But uh, yeah, we should be able to kill the rest of these guys. No problem. And there we go. General's nearly dead now as well. Well, there we go, guys. We actually lost about 80 men. So we lost 60 to uh, to friendly fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, friendly fire. Friendly fire. <laughs> the main enemy of the horse archer, isn't it? Uh, but relatively nice and a nice little settlement for us as well. And this, again, has a decent amount of population. So let's enslave again and uh, make sure we put these guys down on low. It is actually a large town, even though it has no walls or anything like that. But uh, let's just continue along the coast. We'll have this coast pretty mopped up very quickly um, if we keep on doing what we're doing. This time, 34 men can look after this settlement. 40%. Um, not brilliant. Let's see what we can do with uh, an extra guy. That's 60 again. So yeah, we are just going to be bleeding men as we come along here, which is why we need these guys. Are they going to be able to catch up to them, though? I doubt it, unfortunately. <laughs> well, another candidate for adoption, guys. We 100% need that. And he's in there. Fantastic. Are you Are you good? You are considerate, well-supplied, green commander, but you've been in wars. Okay, good, good. You can now join these boys and actually join this army here, which is um, not amazing, but there's a lot of horse archers, so... 
That's always good. <laughs> That's always good. And uh, let's just take it slowly down here. And again, these guys are going to have so many troops. All of these rebel settlements have so many troops in them. Oh, that's going to be so frustrating to deal with. Well, the Idrisians have backed off, my friends, but that does not excuse their actions. We are going to go and sack Idrissia. I really don't care um, about them at all. I don't care for their betrayal. Let's be honest. I don't like that betrayal. So we are going to go sack Adrissia. I'm going to destroy all the buildings in there and leave it to the uh, to the rats and crows, basically. So, yeah, that's what you get, Adrissia, okay? <laughs> Don't do it again. And you know what? I'm going to get some mercenary Scythian archers here. I know it sounds a bit weird to get some archers, but they can basically man the rams and all that sort of thing. Um, we could get some more mercenaries, but... I don't think we need to at this point. Um, going forward, though, we might want to just because we're losing a lot of our horse archers to garrisoning at the moment. And another candidate for adoption? Of course, we're going to take that. Uh, where is he? Euxenos is over here. That's fantastic because we can now have a governor in uh, Hermanosa over here. Very good. And we've got rioting again. Obviously, obviously, we should be fine next turn, though. We should be fine next turn and oh my days have you seen the amount of armies um around adrissa over here it's quite a lot of armies um and they do have a lot of armies as you can see uh well i'm still confident in our ability at the moment to defeat them so unless this army comes in we should be okay let's have a look yeah oh and it's roigos as well they're uh, their leader it's all cavalry this first army Wow. Well, that's fine. And then the second army is not as much cavalry. So, yeah. I mean, we'll just we'll just go and harry them with our horse archers. And then when we're done with that, we'll hide behind our hoplites. <laughs> I think that's the best option. <laughs> let's go. Right then, let's get into it, guys. And yeah, it looks like uh, they decided not to take this hill. So what we'll do is we'll just take the hill and uh, just stand up here. And once our horse archers are done harassing them, maybe force them into attacking us, we'll just hide behind it. So I think that's going to be the best option. And the main thing, of course, is taking out their cavalry. And then we'll have free reign across the whole battlefield. Look how much cavalry they have. Fair play to Adrissia. That is a good tactic from them. Um, and I do respect it. So fair play to the AI. Well done. Good uh, army composition. Apart from the fact they have a single unit of infantry in this whole army. But as we saw last time, if it's fighting Greeks, it can win quite easily. So, um, yeah. And look at the amount of cavalry that have already died, guys. Pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. And there goes one of their generals. I'm just going to bring this cavalry up here. Oh, we're actually quite close to the edge of the map. I did not realize that. Basically, just to protect um, this flank here. There we go. How close is everyone to you? Not too close at the moment, so let's just uh, retreat slightly. I want to use the horse archers more effectively against sort of the uh, the cavalry again, rather than, you know, these guys. We can mop these guys up quite easily later on. Well, I have no idea what they're doing. I mean, they're just kind of chilling at the moment, so I'm going to just try and bring the horse archers back out this way to maybe start to deal with some of these boys. I am just chilling at the minute. I don't really need to worry too much. I mean, this these units are getting a little bit destroyed, by the archers, so we'll just bring them back slightly. I don't mind taking a few shots from, uh, from the archers with the horse archers, but for everyone else, that's fine. I think, honestly, let's just go into these guys. Just get them away from our lines. Stop them uh, attacking us and killing us. These horse archers are relatively tired now, though. So, yeah, looks like that has actually brought them into action now. Good. Good for us. Um, and hopefully we, we start firing back at the... Uh, the horses. It looks like for the first time we're actually going to get caught. Well done, uh, Light Lancers. I mean, they just ran away straight away, though. That's okay. Not a problem for us. Let's just um, bring these guys forward, I think, now. There's no point in uh, just waiting here anymore. And I think that is all of the horse archers' ammo, basically, now. So, okay. Looks like they're withdrawing. Um, do we want to try and stop them? I mean, I think so. I think that would be a good idea. So let's get into them. I don't think they will rout, though. That's the only thing. So, yeah. Let's see. Well, there we go, guys. We didn't manage to catch the other army, but we literally lost, what, 80 men? 80 men. Um, and we, how many did we kill? A thousand. That's 
pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Adrissians. I am slightly worried, though, that we haven't taken the city now. And they have two monstrous armies outside. But <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? So let's siege down um, Adrissa, guys. And they do have that infantry in there. I am just worried about these two armies, basically, to see what they do. Um, but, yeah, should be okay. Also, um, Mentez, Mr. Mento, is a great commander now. Very nice indeed. Nine command, which in RAS, guys, is insane. He's got so much morale for the troops. Well, no, plus two. <laughs> I thought he'd have more. So Heraclea Ponska literally just blockaded us. And then sent us off for a ceasefire. Oh, thanks. How stupid. <laughs> Why? <Regretfully>. Why? <laughs> well then, guys, Adrissia didn't attack us. But we have access to their capital now. So these guys are going to come in from the right-hand side. So let's remember that. We are going to form on the right-hand side and destroy this army as it comes into the battle map. Uh, and then just take the rest of it relatively easy, hopefully. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Well, here we go, guys. Let's press the start. Let's see where that other army comes in from. And while we're waiting for that to pop up, let's just uh, go and open uh, open the walls and the gates. Oh, here we go. They are literally right there. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. So uh, let's come forward and squish them to death. That is going to be the main thing we do here. And luckily, most of their infantry is just like trash it's just like uh slingers and stuff like that there is a couple of long spearmen and romfire foroy so we do need to be slightly wary of all that sort of thing uh but with the horse archers and everything i think we'll be fine so uh yeah let's uh let's get our guys in let's get into the fight here and then we'll use our cavalry to try and kill the rest of them all right here we go let's try and uh, charge into the light lancers with our prodromoy as well hopefully we can break them that's gone very well nice these guys are just running rampant through the Peltas over here. Worst case scenario, guys, we are just going to charge our horse archers in um, as well. Yeah, we're attacking the gate. I mean, we've got we've got other things to worry about, announcer. Please. <laughs> Not the gate. Not the gate. And uh, so let's see what we can do then about... We're just going to do a massive charge in here and hopefully we can break all these guys. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about fully destroying this army. I literally just want to, like... Um, get rid of it so that we can um, take Adrissia and burn it to the ground. Like, that's that's the main thing. There we go. Mass route. Come on, boys. Get onto these guys. Mass route time. Mass route time. Kill the slingers as well. There we go. That should be nice. And then what's the unit here? Should go and fight the Romfire Fulroy. There we go. And let's just come out of that for a second. Try not to lose all of our men in that there we go and now we've got to fight a run fire for right so uh yeah oh they've broken as well let's get those boys and then hopefully we can maybe chase some of these guys down i don't want obviously inside the city to be loads of them so uh let's see what we can do about chasing these boys down well i think they're well and truly mopped up now <laughs> i'm not gonna lie guys <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i think we might be in a pretty good spot here um this guy, uh, our general is getting absolutely ruined by the horse archers, by the way. So maybe we should get him out of the way. <laughs> he could die any moment to it. Well, what I'm hoping to do here, guys, is for these guys to open the gate. And then for us to get through. Don't, don't, don't kill them. It's a single man left. It's a single one. So, yeah, hopefully we don't kill him and we're able to get through the gate. If not, we're going to have to walk the whole way around, which is going to be very annoying. So, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. We didn't manage to do it before with the horse archers because they just killed everyone. So <laughs> that's quite good. And as you can see, they've met us at the gates here. So like our guys are just chilling. Like we're not going to go and fight them. Like long spearmen aren't too bad to fight, but two units of run fire for right. They will push us back at the gates. Absolutely. So um, we're going to try and just block them off. Honestly, if we can do this. And then we can get our horse archers like something like this. That would be amazing. Well, now two of the units have left the gates. So we're going to go in pursuit of them. We're also going to try and uh, blockade those guys there. And with these boys, we're going to bring them in too. So, yeah. I love siege battles like this. It's so much more fun than just the generic standard sort of siege battles. We're going to get these guys now back on fire at will. Because they were taken off that before. Bring them up there. Get the general here. And you're just going to have to just hold the lines here, my friend. 
Uh, they are only lo uh, long spearmen. Uh, and there's Ron 548. Like, the guys are literally just here just to hold them, really. They do have 40 generals bodyguards, which is quite good. But if we get our guys on guard mode, they should be able to fight this quite well. There goes one of the uh, one of the generals, which is a, just a light lancer unit, but um, that's okay. And here we go. Looks like we're going to be able to surround these boys too, which is amazing. These guys, like I say, are going to lose. Same as um, these boys, but hopefully we can take the town square before they do. Let's rally the men, get them some uh, vigor in the battle. Looks like we're going to kill their general. There we go. Fantastic. That's one of the generals, at least. I don't think it's the uh, royal bodyguards, though. Right, let's get these guys off guard mode so they can actually attack a little bit better. And uh, you guys as well, get you off guard mode. Go, go, go. And then hopefully here we can just go in and take the, uh, take the town square. And we're going to get these guys like that, if they'll go through that way. And then we're basically good. Like, we shouldn't lose now. And there goes Roigos. Roigos the Betrayer, we shall call him. The Filthy Betrayer. Disgusting. And then we're going to kill the rest of these uh, long spearmen in here too. And just make sure you're like that. And there we go. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Nice. That was a really fun siege battle. I wish all siege battles were like that. It's just not the case. But uh, that was really, really fun. Um, and yeah, what did we lose then? It's so like 400 troops, basically. And we killed 2,000. Pretty good. <laughs> let's go. Let's destroy Adrissa. And of course, like I promised, it's going to be exterminated and we're going to destroy everything. Um, <laughs> like, this is what you get. Uh, we need the money as well. Like, this is what you get, guys. Like, you really think that this was a good idea <laughs> to mess with us? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see how much money we have at the end of this. It's going to be a lot, isn't it? We can't destroy that. We can destroy the grain imports, though. Uh, we can't destroy the roads. We can't destroy the mines. Well, that's unfortunate. Just blow them up. Stick some TNT in there, my mess. <laughs> and do we want to just, like, ravage the rest of Odrissia? I don't really know. I don't really fancy fighting any more of their armies. Um, but what I'm thinking is we just leave, like, one of these guys. Like, this guy with no experience. Like, ten of them in there. Just to annoy them. So they might have to siege it down. So let's, yeah, let's just destroy Odrissia, like... It's what you get. I know it's not for the gold, but uh, it's completely fine. And now we've actually got some money, guys. We can build again. Wow. It's been a while, as you can as you can tell. <laughs> and we can actually get our recruitment in Nemphion right now, guys. Like, what is the difference? I think it's better to get our recruitment. So we're going to spend 6000 to have a recruitment center up here that can retrain some of our own troops, which I think is good. Well, guys, I think we'll leave it there for today. This army hasn't sieged this down yet. It's only two turns to go. Basically because I wanted to reinforce it with these troops here that are on the way. Um, and, you know, basically rearrange the garrisons. And also bring these other garrison troops and further horse archers up here when they have enough movement to get there. So basically this army is just getting reinforced, which is why we haven't sieged down Hegreus as of yet. Um, and then next turn, uh, next episode, we can go straight for Torikos. We'll burn down some more Adrissian buildings for fun. I don't think there's going to be much in here. But okay, they've got a fair amount of buildings, actually, for a simple town. Um, but yeah, basically just a bit of vengeance. Who doesn't like a bit of vengeance? <laughs> like, I'm so glad we did that to, uh, to Adrissia. Like, that is what they deserve, after all. But now we're on 46 regions, guys. We didn't actually take too many that are on the, uh, the sea this time. But we did build up a lot. And we have formed another couple of armies. So, I think it's been more of a build-up episode with some good battles in, to be fair. But next episode, I assume, we'll have taken all of this coast here. Uh, and we'll be uh, down this coast somewhat as well. Potentially uh, down towards the Greeks at Dioscurias. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I'll see you all again on the next video. And as always, guys, a massive thanks to the channel members David, Cowie Psycho, and Pascal. If you are interested in supporting the channel, guys, you can do for as little as $1 a month down below in the description. But thank you to those guys. You are awesome.